Okay, I'm making sea urchins or fish habitats. Basically what I've done is I've come in here initially. I came in down at this uh, level right in here and angled stuff down in there. And then when I got to where I couldn't get really much more in down at that level, I ran some across to keep it from flipping up. Then I've got my uh, bar I got down here at Home Depot. Cut me some metal strips here to hold that in. So when we get all the cement in there, it'll uh, it'll be my anchor. I'm still gonna stick some more in here through the top, as many as I can jam in here. I've got all kind of assorted sizes I got just from some scrap. And uh, once I get everything in, it's gonna look pretty prickly. And uh, then we'll pour the cement in that rascal. Got my boat dock over there. I've got, uh, if I can see them here, I've got eye hooks I put in the side. It's 20 feet, 18 feet, and then 11 and 11. I'm gonna put these four in. And I'll leave the other side of the dock for uh, catfishing and stuff like that. This is a floating dock, so I don't have any poles to worry about fish getting wrapped up in. But these will be designed to, uh, this will get all hairy and mossy and nasty looking underwater after a little while. Look just like a stick. And you pretty much can't get a hook hooked on anything. If you was misfortune enough to catch that, I guess you'd get a hook. But otherwise, you pretty much get loose just about anything there. It's pretty much snag free. So uh, I'll go ahead and continue working on this a little bit more and then uh, I'll give you some more video here in a little bit okay as you can see I think I'm about done with these rascals other than putting concrete in what I use is a little Kita kit here got different sizes on my drill solves all to cut everything I want to length like I could still probably make another one here but as you can see uh, I did cut the metal hooks off the buckets all these thingies here don't need those not only all they're gonna do is rust down there be something for a hook to catch on so anyway I think I about got these packed pretty tight and I try not to run pipes across this way because I'm going to have a chain on here and I don't really want it getting tangled up with it all the time. But it would be pretty tough to get much more in there. And uh, sometimes if you have a space that's too big and you don't just want to put a big pipe in it, you can put, stick a couple of smaller ones in it and then that will create a situation where you can jam one in and it tightens them all up so I'll fill these things up with cement show you the finished product here in a little bit but they look pretty cool they look like big sea urchins well, there you go the finished product I used half the cement I thought I was going to need. These are four or five gallon buckets. All I ended up needing was four 60 pound bags of cement. There's so many pipes crammed in here. Plus you got to make it pretty thin or it won't run through. In retrospect, probably using cement without rocks, just regular concrete might be a better ideal. So it'll ooze through there, but uh, I got in pretty good. I think we're good to go. So there you go. That's what that looks like.